featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. It's a Tuesday. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm telling you, the weather, this is my kind of weather. Yeah, but I'm a little nervous about what's coming tomorrow, though. We're talking yeah, about something. It's going to be bad. Well, we're going to be in Laurenburg all day tomorrow, too. We are. So let's hope the weather holds off a little bit. I've got bit. a good raincoat. Uh, you do? I do. Do I you? I have an umbrella. Did you see the umbrella rain, thing the other day? I have not had a Watch raincoat out. since I was in the fifth grade. I'm going to buy you a raincoat. And it's going to say <laughs> Cecil Chandler right there on the side of it. I love it. All right, let's check out our weather. Happy Tuesday, everyone. It's going to be a beautiful day once again across our area, but no rain this afternoon like what we saw on Monday. Temperatures nearing the mid 80s, though, across the PD and along the border belt today. So quite warm no matter where you are, as temperatures will be nearing 80 or the upper 70s along the Grand Strand. Also, mostly sunny skies, but turning breezy this afternoon with winds out of the south and west at around 10 to 20 miles per hour, with gusts even higher, 25 or even 30. All of this warmth, though, thanks to warm southerly flow and of course that's contributing to the breeze as well. But as that flow does diminish this afternoon as a ridge of high pressure does weaken, we're going to see a few more clouds returning to the area as well as an area of low pressure that's going to bring our second chance for severe weather this week. I do believe that this particular model we could see some rain ahead of it. You can see this showing the rain not moving in till about noon time. I do believe we can have a few more showers a little bit earlier in the day right around the late morning hours 10 o'clock 11 o'clock possible. But as this area of low pressure moves a little bit closer to our area in the afternoon and early evenings, that'll bring our chance for some severe storms across the region. Now, our current area is in an isolated to scattered chance of some severe storms possible. But of course, you can see areas to our west and southwest do have a higher chance there. Our chance right now, damaging wind, some large hail, the primary threats, but of course, this still remains low. An isolated and scattered chance is about a one out of five and a two out of five chance of seeing those strong storms. Some localized flooding is possible also with those heavy cells that will move through an isolated tornado low risk but not zero. We'll continue to keep you updated on that on WPDE.com. Then after that system moves through or cooler as we head into Friday, Saturday and Sunday with daytime highs only reaching into the 60s along the immediate coast across the PD and along the border belt. Of course, we're seeing that same chance for some storms late Wednesday into early on Thursday. As we head through Friday and Saturday, though, cooler with daytime highs in the 60s and then we're only approaching the 70s on Sunday, but upper 70s on Monday to near 80. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. And welcome back to Carolina & Company Live. All right, it's a Tuesday, everybody. Let's talk a little bit about where we get all of our swag. Oh, you did I it! I know what it is. It's commercial <laughs> stuff. For all the guys, we call it promotional stuff. You know, for all your cups, uh, your T-shirts, your mugs, anything you're looking for, hats, and uh, they've got it all. They do it right there at Surfwater Promotion. And uh, these guys really know how to do it, too. They'll wrap your car. Have they wrapped your car yet with my picture on it? Hadn't done that yet, have they? <laughs> That's coming. That's coming. With your face yeah, on it, I cannot wait. <laughs> but you got to check them out. Surfwater Promotions, they can do anything you want. Flashlight, car, anything. They can, you know, put out the promotional stuff that you need. Yeah, they do a great right job. And they're right there down in Surfside Rot off of Homestown Road. All right, let's talk about Volkswagen. Volkswagen over in Florence. It's Mike Rick and Bob, Volkswagen of Florence. Right now, available Drive Easy protection plans include vehicle service protection, team protection, CPO vehicle service protection, leased in protection, and much more. They still have the $500 graduation Volkswagen contract bonus. That is still underway. All this and more at Volkswagen of Florence. They're located right over there on Coit Street. They've got a full lot of cars, one perfect for your lifestyle. If you've got kids, I highly recommend the Tiguan or the Touareg. I drive the Touareg. It's perfect for both of my kids in the back seat and their car seats. Yeah. Woo! That's Mike, right. Mike Go Rickenbach. Go that's see right. the man. Go the guy John, is something else. Super nice guy. But John. John is the guy to see. Is to handle up the Volkswagen. That's right. Yep. John and the guys okay. will take great care of you.
All right. All right, what's next? All right, let's talk about today. That's the right. Pop top. There pop it top. is. <laughs> all right, this is for all of you coconut lovers out there. Starbucks, of course, my favorite place. Starbucks' new drink is hitting everyone, and everybody is excited about it. It's hitting right before summertime. Today, it rolled out the toasted coconut cold brew. It's only out for a limited time. It follows the recently released coconut mocha macchiato. The new cold brew is a lightly sweetened with a toasted coconut syrup and a splash of coconut milk. And they're lining up to get them. They, they are. Starbucks was busy this morning, but I really prefer iced coffee. Personally, it's not as sweet, but this sounds really good. Gonna have to try it, right? All right, let's find out a little bit about today. Today right. is Tuesday, April 4th, and this is Walk Around Things Day. That's right, and it's also around. Kids Kick Butt Day. It's an anti-tobacco campaign. And guess what? What? It's National Hug a News Person Day. So if you see a news person, give them a hug. All right. Here I, we didn't, go. I didn't get a hug. That's All right. Fine. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, Birthday good. is 1965. Robert Downey Jr. The man is 52 years old today. Iron Man series, Sherlock Holmes, Tropic Thunder, and The Judge. And he played Charlie Chaplin, too, in a movie. All right. 1973. David Blaine is 44 years old, a magician and endurance artist whose stunts include being frozen in a block of ice and buried alive. He's a bad guy. He's crazy. All right, let's go to this. 1979, <laughs> Natasha Lohan. She's 35 in American mm -hmm. Pie movies. You remember that. Slums of Beverly Hills. Also in Pee Wee's Playhouse when she was uh, six years old. How All about right. That? That's right. All right. Today in history, 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated at the age of 39. Sad day. That's right. 1974, Hank Aaron. The man tied Babe Ruth's uh, Major League Baseball home run record, 714. That is unbelievable. And I awesome. have a baseball signed by Hank Aaron. Do you? Yeah, it was not the 714 home ball, though. That's can can you just write that on? I, that, I started. Yeah. To. <laughs> All right, let's find out here. All right, here it is the Know It All Department. All right, here we go. You need to try this. Okay. All right, you know, count the number of cricket chirps. In a 15 second period, in the summertime, you know, you're sitting outside and you hear all this. I'm not sure if yeah. I can. Listen to this now. You got to count them in a 15 okay. second period. Okay. Then you add 37 to the total of how many chirps there were in 15 seconds. And that'll be very close to the actual outdoor Fahrenheit temperature. No way. That's what they say now. I mean, it came off the internet. You can believe it's anything true. that comes off the internet. <laughs> Absolutely. That's right. You try count the okay. cricket. Count the counts on the crickets. Chirps. 15 second period. Add 37 to the total, and you'll get the temperature of the outdoor. I want to challenge one of our viewers to, to actually do, do this and call us and tell us if it's if it works. Accurate. Please, please, please. Because if it doesn't work, I'm sending a note to, to, to the, the uh, internet, internet to yeah. the World Wide Web. That's right? a bit from the Know It All Department today. <laughs> That's why I've got a great show lined up. We'll be right back. Grand Strand Humane Society is here. They're here every Tuesday now. And the pet of the day, they brought a cute little puppy. They sure have. Well, I don't think she's a puppy. I think Guess he's what? A, yeah. I might want to take it home. Oh, yeah. Me. I understand. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. I've got Brittany with us. All right. Tell us. <laughs> hi, baby. Tell us who you brought with us. This is Bryant. He's about 10 weeks old. <gasps> it is a puppy. It is a puppy. Hi, and he is ready to find his forever home. He loves to ride in the car on the way here. He was trying so hard to stick his little nose out the window. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And so All right, yeah, they got he a good is obviously a uh, chihuahua. Yes. Um, and so it's he's really probably not going to get too much bigger? Nope. He's going to probably stay around just this size. Um, and he's just a little chihuahua mix. I thought it's it was a pit you. bull. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, now, how many, how many animals y'all have right now? Do you have? Oh, we have a ton right now. Really? Um, I'd probably say, like, 70 to 80. Okay. Um, we do have a lot of animals right now. Dogs and cats alike. Yeah, dogs and cats, but we've been having a lot of awesome adoptions over the past few weeks, so that's always great. Yay, fantastic. Now, um, are you seeing a big <laughs> influx right now of puppies? Just because of the spring season? We are seeing a lot of kittens coming okay. in. Yep, a lot of mama cats and kittens, <laughs> pregnant cats. Um, so that's kind of what we're dealing with right now. Well, he's wide open. Yeah, he's got he a lot is. of energy. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. he would be great. And being, you know, getting him at this age, he'd probably be great to, you know, train to have you know, oh, yeah. kids or whatever. Definitely, would work. definitely. Oh, he's really He's cute. very eager to please. <laughs> you got any special events coming up? What you got coming up? Um, we soon? have the PetSmart every every other weekend is that um, from this 11 weekend? to 2. It's going to be um, next week. Next, Next weekend. weekend. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Fantastic. And we're still having our shoe drive. So if you have any old or yes. um, used shoes, please donate to that to us. Um, for every bag, 
bag of 30 shoes that we get, we get a certain amount of money donated towards the care of our animals. So, so it can be kid shoes, adult shoes, it really doesn't matter. Yep, any type of shoes, any shoes that you don't wear anymore. It can be new <laughs> shoes, old shoes, used shoes. If you got some shoes, bring them on Bye down. Them <laughs> Give me those shoes. Right, yeah, Give me your take shoes. Mine off? Yep. Uh -huh. Let me have them. All right, now I gotta know, uh, y'all need still needing volunteers. I mean, it takes a lot of people to run the shelter. Yes, we are always in need of volunteers. We really appreciate all of the hard work that our volunteers do. Um, they help us out with our adoption events. They come in every single day and walk our dogs. They socialize with our cats and our kittens, which is very important to getting them into good homes. Um, so we are always in need of volunteers for sure. <laughs> so <laughs> somebody, like somebody looking for something to do a couple hours a day, whatever, you can do it, right? Yep, yep. We always have things to do at the shelter. So we always encourage people to come in, fill out a volunteer application, okay. and then they take our orientation class and just come in whenever they have spare, some Fantastic. spare time. Right. Located Thank here you. on Mr. Joe White Avenue and yep. the website? Hi. Yep, GrandTrainingMeetSociety.com. Perfect. Good Thank to you. see you. All right, we got a lot more coming up. Stay with us. I think we have an illusionist in the audience. <laughs> Please, come on. Yeah, come on up here. Yeah. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, we've got an illusionist on the show today, and he's going to do some wow. He's going to do a couple of things, but we're going to talk to him a little bit first, find out a little bit about him. Absolutely. One of the greatest and most successful illusionists, Rick Thomas, is here with us. He's going to be at the Alabama Theater April 15th. You've toured over 50 countries and do all kinds of cool stuff. Tell us about yourself first. Well, first of all, it's amazing that I'm actually here in Myrtle Beach. I'm glad to be here. Yes. Uh, 50 countries and never done Myrtle Beach. <laughs> really? Something's wrong. Something is wrong. Myrtle Beach is the place <laughs> to be for uh, attraction. I had my own show in Vegas for 15 straight years. Became the most successful show for families in the history of Las Vegas. Cool. Three years ago, I was called on behalf of Andy Williams, who'd passed away. Yep. Uh, they asked me if I'd come in and save that theater, the Andy, Andy Williams Performing Arts Center. We did just that, and uh, it allows me to tour. So okay. three, four months a year I tour, and the rest of the year I'm over at the Andy Williams Theater in Branson. So I'm in Myrtle Beach. I also just finished headlining the Palace Theater on Broadway. Wow. wow. That's so good. I was there these last cool. three months. Been very busy. Right, now, how did you get into this business? How did you get into this? Uh, you know, I was about seven or eight years of age, and uh, my grandmother took me constantly to Disneyland, and I right. loved the special effects and well yeah that's yeah. a little bit big that's pretty big you so see, that's that, how that. Got into see that helicopter appear right there so it started when you were a kid <laughs> yeah it started you, you with a child and i wanted to know how things were done rather than the, the the ride itself i'd look around corners i'd see the mechanics and go okay there's got to be a way this is being done and, and that reason alone i got into magic and learned all about it all right Very now you're going to be cool. at the theater april 15th now we're going to see something all right what we're going to do here now i want to we're going to show some show us something i don't know what uh, right? It's right, quite simple. I always start with something small from my childhood. Okay. Uh, I, I used to practice by pretending to make my brothers and sisters disappear. See? <laughs> I like that. You, I, like I know. That. <laughs> talking about that. Hold on to this. This is a very special okay. gift for you. All right, I'm gonna and I'm just going to turn this table around this way. So I use items from around the house, whether it be a table where you have a, a you know, a, a lamp on or something like that. Uh -huh. And inside this box is a gift for you. You okay. need to stand. In fact, I'm going to have you stand over here. All right, I want you to stand, stand as close as possible. Okay. You grab this corner here okay. and this okay. one there. Now, I know there's no dramatic music or anything going on, but you got to stand there and keep your hands tight to yourself because okay. what you're about to see could blow you away. All right. We both grab the corners like this. Are okay. you ready? Yes. All you have to do is dream with me. Okay. That's all. You ready? Yes. Okay. I don't know if you're going to notice this or not. Oh, my goodness. And I hope they're catching this on camera. How cool is that? But you got to do it one more time. Lift with me. That's it. Oh, that's beautiful. I know wow. that cool. Let go. Let me show the cameras. Check this out. <laughs> Yo, that's Are they awesome. getting that from floor to ceiling? Look at that. Fact, Look at it. Look at the bottom of it. I have something in here special for you. <gasps> Hold that. I'll get back to it in just a okay. moment. I told you, don't touch it. <laughs> Again, for the cameras. Very cool. Very cool. I don't and see any wires or anything. I know, for real. Wow. I told you, you That's had to be amazing. really close. Thank you. <laughs> Inside that bag is a gift for you. Okay. Thank that you. That is a pin that you should wear your entire life, and it says okay. dream. I love it. So Thank you so much. So if you would, oh. great. always follow your dreams. In fact, the theme of my show is nothing happens until you dream. Very cool. I can believe Awesome. It. Rick, thank you for being with us. That April was really, 15th. really neat. Now Alabama Theater. theater. You, you see the go. man. That's and right. I, I got to look at that table again. How'd you do that? <laughs> Come on over here. I'll show All right. You. We'll go see it. Stay with us. We'll, we'll be right back. back.
It's going to run all week long. Steve's with us again. Steve, tell us about the Horry County Fair and how we can be involved if somebody wants to be involved. It's uh, it's here, you know, and yes. uh, you know, and it's coming up Friday. Yes. Uh, we start Friday at 12, and then we go for the next 10 days. And uh, I know the forecast there didn't look promising for the next couple of days, but that's for our, us to worry about because uh, that's just set up. But the 10 days right now look beautiful, um, you Fantastic. know, the, the forecast. So uh, anyone that wants to get involved, you know, just reach out to us at the Speedway, whether it's via Facebook, it's the um, the phone number 843-236-0500. Um, if I would have had a chance to speak to Brittany, uh, you know, organizations like that are what we're trying to get involved with the Speedway. You know, somebody that needs to get out there in front of that many people. Right. Um, you know, because again, this is a community event. The idea is to bring the community together uh, in something like adoption, uh, you know, pet adoption. We can get you in touch you know, with the Grand Street Humane Society. Yeah, absolutely. Of, a lot of cool things that we can do, um, not only offering rides and, uh, you know, you see the smile on the, on the kids' faces. I think that's my favorite part because I sit on, um, you know, 48 acres and I, I wander around thinking what we can do to, to better the, the community and better our facility and I went right to my three kids when I decided that this was something we needed to do yeah. and uh, walking around and seeing the smiles on their faces and the parents are smiling and everyone's having a great time um, you know a lot of times I got to make sure that I find my kids usually they're selling cotton candy <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but uh, but no it's it's great we're very excited and uh, looking forward to it well the great part about this also come hungry because there's all kinds of food there there's more than last year I mean uh, <laughs> there you should come by the uh, facility right now and see the trailers waiting to get placed um, they're all I mean it's it is amazing to see when you come in there and see all these rides they came in on a trailer. I mean, they're just folded down. Um, they got the food people ready. They map it out perfectly um, to fit everything where it's supposed to go. So it's pretty cool to see it all come together. But again, uh, once it's up and everyone's having fun with it, that's what we look forward to. Very cool. Awesome. So that's coming up. Starts this Friday. This Friday. And that's the grand opening. Now, through the time you have different events, $2 a day, yep. family time. days. Yep. That yeah, we have uh, this first uh, Saturday. We're actually going to be doing uh, the, what they're calling Drift Affair. It's actually Myrtle Beach Drift. They get to slide their cars around. They're going to be putting on a competition all day. We're just doing a lot of free stuff. You know, we talked about it last week. Um, you can come watch skid plate racing at seven. You can, there's just a lot of things right. you can do uh, within the facility outside of the uh, the fair. So check Fantastic. the website right there. You can find out more about it by going to that website That's right, right. Yes, sir. Speedway. Steve, All thank right. you, buddy. Thank you guys for having thank me. You. Appreciate yeah. it. It's gonna be All a fun right. time. More coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, all you fishermen and fisherwomen out there, the 16th <laughs> annual Grand Strand Saltwater Angler Association Flounder Tournament is coming up. That's right. It gets underway. Listen, now we're talking about the date of it is, um, what is the date on it, guys? I got it here. April 22nd. April 22nd. That's right. right. I'm sorry, but you got to get ready now. If you want to get in this, you need you need to Go ahead you know, and register, do it now. right? Get your gear ready. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, register, pre-register. You can get those uh, forms from all different kinds of places. We got them laid out everywhere. You can also go to our website or Facebook page and, and uh, get a form sent to you and register ahead of time. All right, now, Lou, you've been doing this a long time, buddy. Yes, sir. Captain's meeting is April 21st okay. at Beaver Bar in Myrtle, right. Myrtle's Inlet. Myrtle's okay. Inlet. That's right. There's gonna, that's where we go over what's going to happen the next day. We tell about uh, the, the prizes, how you get the prizes, and everything else. So you've got to be there. Yeah. Captain's meeting, very important you to be there. put a picture of me up yeah. there. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Now what's so big about it? This first place is $1,500. Yeah. Yes. And, and the nice thing about it is, you know, I'm in a, I'm, we get involved in a lot of tournaments that, you know, where people are really like cutthroat, man. They're all about the money. Even though this has a big payout, it's not yeah. like that. This is a very family friendly and fun tournament. The yeah. fish that mm -hmm. won it last year was three pounds, 96 ounces. No, right. Just sh short of four pounds. <laughs> wow. Well, 1500 bucks. Yeah, well, you for can a win four pound flounder. 600 all the way down to, uh, well, 10th place, 39th place gives money. Yes, it so, all does. You know, yeah. you need to join up on this and check it out. Yes, right. sir. And if you, and want, if you want to get registered for it, or even be a sponsor, there's t is there time to be a sponsor still? No. No, no too late. <laughs> They've got enough spots. Look at Give us for next oh, year, though. Look at that. We will take sponsors for next year. Fantastic. All right. Now, All they right. can go to the website and still get joint, I mean, find out more information about how to take part in it, right, That's Luke? right. That's right. All and right. Our, uh, phone numbers are at the bottom of, the, of these applications. All right. Very you find important. applications where? All over? We have them all over the place. Every single bait and tackle shop you'll find them. Marinas you'll find them. They're all they're pretty much laid out. But you can also go to our our Facebook page, uh, the Grand Strand Saltwater Anglers Association Facebook, and uh, Grand Strand Saltwater Anglers uh, website. Uh -huh. Are okay. you still fishing? You don't still no, you go out. I, you don't fish anymore. No, I haven't fished in a year. Really? I haven't forgot how to tie a knot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I what bet you still. If do you it. go to our Facebook page, you'll see a picture of Lou on our Facebook page. 
with a massive redfish. Really? Wow. Um, yes, you will. Fantastic. It's on there. Lou caught a huge redfish a couple years ago. This has nothing to do with the tournament, but he did. <laughs> Lou can fish. So. All right. All April right. 22nd, coming up, lines in the water that morning early? Uh, live, yeah, 6 o'clock a.m. All right. 6 a.m., okay. lines in the water, but be there Friday night at, uh, on April 21st captain's for captain's the captain's meeting, meeting at All the right. Beaver Bar across from Merle's Inlet Outpost in Merle's Inlet. Get there, and uh, you can register and find right, right. right. Thank, Thank you all so what? much. We got to go. Lou, One nice time. thing about this is a yeah. family affair. Family event. Bring Tell your family out. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees.